শ্রী দর্শক মণ্ডলী ওয়েলকাম ব্যাক টু আওয়ার শো আমাদের এটা লাস্ট সেগমেন্ট এই সেগমেন্টে আমরা আলাপ করব জন বিগস এন্ড মতিনুল জামানের সাথে দ্যাট হাউ লেবার অ্যান্ড দ্য লোকাল ইলেকশন ওয়েন্ট এর জন্য আমাদের এখনকার সেগমেন্টের টপিক হচ্ছে লেবার অ্যান্ড টোয়েন্টি ফোরটিন লোকাল ইলেকশন দিস টাইম আমরা স্টার্ট উইথ উইথ মতিন মতিন ভাই হ্যাও ডু ইউ থিঙ্ক ইট ওয়েন্ট ফর দ্য লোকাল ইলেকশনস অ্যান্ড লেবার We've got the majority councillors and the council. Uh, we've got, uh, I mean, we, we came 3,000 close to winning the mayoralty. Uh, a lot, lot uh, you know, thankful to a lot of people supporting us. Clearly, a uh, disappointment is that the change that we wanted did not happen. We, uh, you know, we didn't get John, who is an experienced um, uh, person in the city hall, to help uh, with some of the major challenges that the borough will face in the next uh, year or so. Uh, and people are suffering. Because to bridge the link between local and national and trying to bring those change. That's what was needed. Um, clearly disappointed on my personal um, side because I think it's an honor and privilege to, you know, um, uh, to represent people. Um, I think we, we, we were disappointed. I mean, I personally was disappointed with the length of time it was it took to... Yeah, I was going to ask you that because you were a sitting council at the time. Mm -hmm. So you should have known from the inside that what went wrong. Five days, six days on a row, Ethiopia I, can do better. I, I have to say this in Bengali because I'm in the sidebar election, guys. And election is in the end, and then you go and count the vote. This is a different way to do it. I mean, Mumbai is going to say, when you vote, you can count the vote. And you can count the vote. And you can count the vote. When you vote, you can count the vote. ঢুকতে গেছে আপনার মনে হয় এক ঘন্টা মানে এটা কোনো এরকম কোনো সময় হয়েছে না রিয়ালিটি যেটা হয়েছে যে ইট টুক সো লং ইট শুডেন্ট হ্যাভ টেকেন দ্যাট লং অ্যান্ড যে পাবলিসিটি আমরা ইউনো ফাইসি আর কি ন্যাশনাল বিকজ অফ ইউরোপিয়ান ইলেকশন এন্ড এভরিথিং এলস ইট ডাজেন্ট হেল্প আস মানে আমরা দেখানো হয়েছে ডে <laughs> Uh, you know, it, it had. I mean, it's unjustifiable. Obviously, people need to answer that, and I know they're looking to why it's taken that long. Thank you, uh, Martin Bay. Um, before I go to uh, John, I just wanted to ask you another question, uh, because we're talking about Labour, Labour mm. Party itself, and the local election mm. uh, in 2014. Do you think your heavyweight, Ken Livingston, siding with the mayor, huh. uh, made an impact? Sided with both of us, actually. <laughs> yeah, I think he, he, he supported John and, uh, he, you know, I've heard him, you know, in some point say, well, you could also vote for, second vote for whatever. I, I, I mean, I think Ken... He's also now the mm. advisor for the Whitechapel Master no, Plan. No, that's not necessarily... Well, there's a, there's a difference between Whitechapel, what is Whitechapel Master Plan? You know, it is, a, is, it, is, it is sort of a strategy to get rid of... But uh, I'm not quite sure if he's on the payroll, but uh, advisors usually are. Well, I mean, I can't comment on, on that. I think that's because what we don't people know, about know that. Yeah. But I think... If he's uh, on the payroll, then mm. that would be quite disgraceful. Um, but, but let's see what happens. Mm. When yeah. could, I, I'd assume he's doing it as a volunteer, Thank using you. his experience. He's a very experienced man, and yeah. he likes regeneration projects like the Whitechapel one. Yeah. I mean, Ken, I mean, we, know, we have to be plain. Right? Ken has made a huge contribution to London you know, politics and London, shaping London. Uh, and we're grateful for that, but I think he's direct involvement uh, in Tar Hamlets uh, in, in the way he does is it's not helpful for his own, you know, contributions he's made across London. I just personally think uh, it's not, and I know J Boris Johnson is involved in the White Shovel vision as well, so it just doesn't make sense to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Martin Bay. Looking at Ken's involvement with, with uh, Mayor Rahman uh, before and after the election, um, simultaneously you had a lot of a lot of disgruntled um, uh, members within your party and selection is one of the key areas where um, we, we saw that a lot of people were, candidates were upset and mm -hmm. they even 
went as far as standing against your your candidates. Uh, one is in Bow, and then within the party, I mean, you've seen Ted Jury's um, video on the Express. It's quite clear. It's open. It's 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 available. <coughs> that uh, candidates, uh, daughter-in-law, son-in-laws are voting for Lutfur, and while they are still have their Labour rosettes. And mm. Well. <coughs> Let's start with Ken Livingston. Ken Livingston. Sorry again, John. There's another call. Another call. As soon as you, yeah. <laughs> so so let me take this call. Assalamu uh, alaikum, hey. caller. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Ken Wilson. Yeah, my name is Fazal Ahmed. Ji Ahmed Bay Yeah, thank you. This was a question for John Biggs. Um, mm. I was going to say that when he selected his candidates, um, he seemed to select very weak candidates this time around. There were lots of couples, so husband and wife duos, mother and son, um, and lots of the candidates also belonged to other parties during the last election. So one of my questions was, I was wondering why those particular people were selected. Mm. Um, even after the election, uh, the Labour Party hasn't really learned its lessons, I would say, and Chris Weaver is the party chair, and his wife is the party leader, and I'm, I think perhaps he ought to resign and wants to get John Biggs view on these questions maybe okay sure well there you go well, okay so um well of course Lupa Rahman uh, selected a number of candidates who don't oh, yeah. who don't live in Tower Hamlets and uh they selected I, for I you I think that's pretty scandalous actually okay. but um uh but but no I mean I, I would reject that I mean first of all I did not select the candidates the candidates were selected by a panel of the regional party who sought the opinions of a whole bunch of people including myself including the leader of the Labour group including the MPs uh, what I'd like us to do is to move towards a position where we have open selections by individual members. As far as I know, uh, Lufarama's party doesn't have any individual membership and all his candidates were selected by himself personally. So I think it's somewhat uh, unbalanced. You're right on that. Yeah, yeah. somewhat unbalanced the, the question. But yeah, I, 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 I speak to you in total humility. We had our heads kicked in in the election and we need to learn from that. Of course we do. And were all our candidates superb, wonderful candidates who ticked every box and, and, and worked superbly well in the community and made the connections? Well, clearly not. Otherwise, they'd have all been elected. So, yeah, we need to learn from And that. in terms of selection, if you look at the by-election in Blackwell Kibbe Town, mm -hmm. if you look at the mainstream parties, you can, you can see their candidates reflect, mm -hmm. uh, pretty much reflect the borough. Yeah. Because your party is given a um, Bengali, a white and, and women, uh, so forth, and my, uh, I mean, conservatives has done the similar way, men, women, yep. and in Indian, so mm -hmm. it reflects. But when it comes to like Tahamdas first, it, it's all male, 45 to 55 years old, and there's no reflection of the borough, let alone the Isle of Dogs. Well, people so in the borough need to look at so that. So I'm and really surprised their own that people okay, that are calling and yeah. making that complaint on I mean, the okay, uh, if if uh, I would be very disappointed if next time we don't have open selections. We still have some problems with our membership, with people having mass membership to try to influence selection, only in four or five wards. And we need to move on from that. We need to have open selections, wards of all. I, uh, uh, I wasn't responsible for the final decisions on selections, but, but uh, yeah, we had a good bunch of candidates who worked hard, and maybe some of them were in very difficult seats to win. There were a, a number of surprises in the results, I think, in, no, in a number of the wards. It was always going to be quite hard to win. To go back to your earlier question, um, I'm disappointed with Ken Livingston's position because he seemed to face both ways. And, um, and yes, he's an old mate of mine, and I, I'm not too sure he's a mate of mine anymore because I, I think you cannot be a Labour Party member and endorse independent candidates who are not Labour Party candidates. Mm. Um, that's just, that's just not, not, not done. And I think it, it shows that Ken has a complicated mind and he doesn't really understand uh, Tower Hamlets in the way that we do. But what is the party doing about it then? What's the party doing about it? Well. Uh, people need to form their own judgment about Ken. The great thing about the Labour Party, which is both a strength and a weakness, and goes back to your other question, is that we're an open party, and all sorts of people join our party, people on the left, people on the right, men, women, people from the Bengali community, the Somali community, white English people, Cockneys, working class people. We're a very diverse party, and, and, that, and we have people with all sorts of passions, and we make decisions mostly from the bottom up, and that's the way it should be. Um, and, uh, and yeah, we make mistakes and we need to make connections. And, and yes, we have a serious problem at the moment with connecting with the Bengali community in Tower Hamlets. I think I've made that point Clearly many times. Yeah. Yeah. As for the loyalty of individual members of the Labour Party, then we had a pretty loyal bunch of people working pretty hard. We had one or two people who were unhappy with the selections and joined another party. I think they need to look at themselves and work out why they felt suddenly after so many years they were no longer Labour. 
Thank you, John. I'm going to take a call and then I'll come back to you. Assalamu alaikum, caller. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. I want to make a suggestion that you say that uh, you are saying that uh, why they were lose, lost the, uh, uh, losing the Taiwan people, but they haven't. We are looking for a man, a labor man. He's still a labor man. Okay. So they uh, haven't sorry, lost it. So how will a labor uh, think uh, can, uh, and the policy makers, they should so think again and bring uh, uh, look for a man and his team to a labor party? Up in Namta Bogan. Yes, we can see Rashid. His name is Rashid. So, only the Labour Party is not a mayor. No, 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 I know, I know, but he hasn't, but because he has no choice, he was kicked out of the Labour Party, and that was a wrong decision. Well, I disagree with you. <laughs> it was so, a wrong decision. I'll, I'll let Motin answer that because he's in the best situation to answer that. Motin, you, you, you work with, uh, well, you were yeah, counselor when he was, was a mayor yeah, and a leader. Yeah, so I was, I mean, I mean that, accusing his I know, I know. I'm Rajonogun, I'm Rajonogun, I talk at Ashankase. But most importantly, we have to realize uh, what the, what the, what uh, Lothavai wants. I mean, in the last four years that he's been mayor, he has not um, talked to labor leadership in, in a way that shows that kind of partnership work. Uh, uh, and uh, if you wanted to come back, then you have to talk to the local party. Hali national party look at my tattoo But when the application party look at the only 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 Application locally for a door. Find the Afnara proceed for your application quarter. Here, but the process I or by the Anna Nana to process. But AJ phone caller Jita Bolden, Bamra Alako Jita and Lutheran by Nijo Jeta Bivino television question. I have a problem with the local labor, but I don't have any problem with the national labor. But when Ed Billiban comes down and criticizes him, mm. I think he's got a problem with the national labor too. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 The national leader is very divisive. It doesn't have to be a problem. But I'm sure Ken Livingston is not uh, above Ed Miliband, mm. is it? No, and, and see, I'm held in pretty high respect. Okay. by people across London and elsewhere in the country who yeah. see my Sure. Work down the years as a Labour politician. Amra, so, Amra, so, Amra, so, you know, I'm not part yeah, of the yeah, problem uh, in town. Look, Amra, uh, Amra, look I think Amra there is. I'm not view, look, yeah. John O'Gon, people who voted for, look for, voted for Tower Hamlets first to run Tower Hamlets. Mm -hmm. And I think that's very clear, and he should be busy doing that uh, as Tower Hamlets first party mm -hmm. and deliver it because it shouldn't now. Reality is to say, is a honto tension is a baba yashi million if I am quite. Oh, Amade Basaito Killa, national government to Jama help now at a meet of Murkilla. Most important to look at it, it at an election like a Huitasla. Jamare, I should be at the Tarham Lesson. Tarham should be washed at all cards, eighty million scars over four years. No, I think is it over four years? Over two years. Sorry, I'm going to answer Santa Clienda. I told Mr. Raman, I told that he is getting more votes than on this. And what is the other gentleman of the election side of our presenter? Yes. Saying that Mr. Raman is delivered, still delivered. How can he not suppose the Bengali and other people in our athletes? And John Green, he, he, he has to have half and, and go, go out of the way of that. Your, your call is cutting off because it's very hazy. Um, it's not clear. But what wants, I could understand... I think, wants, I think he wants me to lead the Labour Party yeah. so look for Raman can come back. What he... I don't know if that's, is that what he said? I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't think I so, know, that's what he said. I think he said on the term of delivery that he's delivered, Lutheran well, has delivered over the three and a half years. Mm -hmm. That's why he's got elected. That's what I think, I think okay. what he's saying, <laughs> if I'm not wrong. I think uh, Labour has failed to persuade people that uh, about his failures. And, and he has mm -hmm. done some good things as well. But 
I think he's failed a number of ways. So on the Isle of Dogs, he has failed to build schools for, for kids who need, who need school places. He has sold well, buildings. He has a new application on the Westbury printers. Well, well, no, he doesn't have an application. But the Westbury, Westbury printers, printers, they want it, yeah. to build a free school there. Yeah. And look for Rahman is implacably opposed to free schools. Now, I don't want free schools. But what I do want is kids on the Isle of Dogs to have an education. Yeah. So I'm not going to stand against that if that's the only choice. But I think we need to work very hard to avoid that. Um, he sold buildings to his mates. That's not a Labour policy. You know, yeah. he sells buildings to his mates. That's not a Labour policy. That's not standing up for people at Tower Hamlets. That's doing deals with your mates. That's not standing up for people at Tower Hamlets. If you give grants to organisations in return for them mobilising votes for you, that's not a Labour mm. policy either. And, you know, we need to be clear about this. We need to, in some ways, get our gloves off and persuade people that he is not really looking after the community as a whole. He's just looking after he himself. Is, I think he is looking after us, a part of the community, and he is actually dividing our communities in Tower Hamlets through the way he's doing his politics. And, yeah. that, and that worries me. That's not good for the future. I didn't bring up a family in this borough in order to see us split again. I put, you know, 30 years plus yeah. into fighting against division in our community, and I think it's coming back under look for, and he's a false prophet, if you like, you know. That's yeah. I mean, I mean, look, I don't, I don't understand. Look, if I was the mayor, and I have all this power, nobody to chain me down. You know, I am, I am the one person who could make all the decision in the council. Why would I want to come back to the Labour? I mean, that's the reality. Why? I mean, why? I'm I mean, you know, here's the freedom. And that is what he has done. He's, he's worked on that. I mean, uh, you know, he should, he should, you know, for it, the decision is not a decision. It is a decision. Reality is simple. That he is the mayor, he has to make that. But most importantly, Amra, Amra to make sure that he is listening man, to make sure that he answers his calls. Amar kunu call ta answer kor chale na jokhon deputy leader aslam issue rufre jokhon amader community bhi moje difficulty thaisen. Ami khun ma kisi agami the jate you know jara re promise koro isse je kulo jinish promise koro sun he needs to deliver this. Labour Party will work to make sure that the national issues, the national politics that impacts local residents, amra saimu the nationally jate impacta khomai. এবং আমরা national government change for চেষ্টা করলাম এবং আপনারা সবাই রে আমরা চাইমু আমরা লোকে থাকতা আমরা এমপি হলদের দিয়া government change for them চেষ্টা করমু আপনারা যে সমস্যা যেগুলো আছে এগুলো আমরা চেষ্টা করমু থ্রু দোস এবং health or hospital or এবং যে মানে benefit changes that happen how those are impacting on our children getting jobs for our young people national kita করা যায় housing station হলতে যে accountability এটা মধ্যে কোন national policy change আনলে why don't we bring those changes? Let me ask you a different question, and I'll get you in, in, in this too. It's that certain people has sided with councillors, um, has moved with, with Lutfer uh, from Labour uh, at the time. They, they now, they're now independent or timeless first councillors. And some of them... Uh, stood again under timeless mm. first, but they were always Labour up until they moved. Now they have lost their seats. Do you see any any future for them in politics? Because now that they're not, they, they haven't uh, managed to regain their seats from timeless first, I'm sure, I, I know for sure Conservatives are not going to take them. I don't know if Labour is going to take them or they have any future. So has he actually helped uh, politically to those individuals, people, places. There were good councillors like Rafiq, uh, Salimullah, uh, you know, um, certain Look. Fazlul uh, we've mm -hmm. seen who moved on and then after two years is vanished. Yeah. So politically, have they been uh, damaged or Look. did they do the right uh, thing? Uh, oh, he, I'm sorry, Ahmad Bhai. He, he cannot, he election, there were a lot of people, a lot of talented uh, people that did not get opportunity because I would remember I've done it for four year terms you know sometimes you think well actually you need to start getting new people new blood in to make sure that the continuity happens mm -hmm. and um, but I think there are some talented people who didn't get the seat this time but they've been very loyal they've campaigned they worked hard they, only got 30 yeah, seconds. they, they worked hard and we need to make sure we recognize those people because if they're willing to stand up and f fight for the values that Labour Party stands for 
then in next time round we need to make sure that they are part of that team that fights the fights uh, to bring up the change that we need. 20 seconds on this mm -hmm. and then 20 seconds on mm -hmm. to sum up. Okay. On, on Labour and, and Tarmlitz. Okay, well Labour needs to listen and learn from the election and clearly we were given a, a pretty clear message from the people in our borough. There are still some serious questions about the way in which the vote was conducted so it's not totally over yet, let's be clear about that. But uh, on the face of it, a big victory for Look for Ram and Labour needs to learn and we need to listen and we need to rebuild support uh, and, and uh, show people that we can unify our borough in a way that no other party can. That's our task. Okay, thank you. Uh, ten seconds. Ten seconds just to say, look, we're indebted to the people of this borough for um, supporting us in the past. We hope that you will support to bring the change we need in the government and we look forward to working with you to help and stand by you. Councillor Nathakloa, Apnara Shate, Amra Councillor Ibarra Gaslam, Agamito Tafmo, Apnara Dukka Shukke, Amra Chastakurmo, Apnara Shate. Thank you, Motin Bhai. Thank you, John, for coming to our show. Shri Dasha Kundali, Apnara Dikle Natke Amade Politics and Beyond Show, Ete Amra Labour Abong Election Show Amade. 2014 election show on the Alap Kolam. Abong Amra Shamne Abar Unu Party Lib Dem Abong Conservative member the Kenyashbo. Kidapra Jan and Jashamne Roja, Roja Pori Eid, either Pore Amade Eonustan Gulihobe. I'm the next Onustan Tahobe on Conservative and Labour. And ex councillor Martin Zaman will be returning on that show with and he will take on the Conservatives. And Amra either age are actor matro program on there, Azum by Thagbana on the Shate, Abong either Poresha, Apne, the Nutunangi camera, but Apne Shate Kothaulbo. Thank you very much again. Our Amad the quiz to Apne the Kenivin, quiz a Ruth Apne email the Edivin. Thank you. Slam Likum.